First time a firefighter is making headway on the Creek Fire, seeing that containment jumping from zero to now 6%. AJ Cotto with a report. Crews say the wind has not been as bad as anticipated and temperatures came down, which helped. Now they weren't able to do as much from the air as they wanted to do today, but still very happy to see progress. The Creek Fire continuing to torch tens of thousands of acres, but also slowing its growth as crews fight hard to keep it from once again taking aim at an area they've fought to protect. Once these southwest winds come in, it's pushing it north over the ridge, and then it could potentially make another run towards uh, Shaver Lake and completely uh, tie in with the northern part of the fire. Firefighters now focused on strengthening hand and dozer lines around Shaver Lake, protecting the community. Investigators confirm flames have already taken at least 60 homes. Max Taylor says his family family watched them closing in on his house up Cedar Springs Road in Auberry. At that point, we're using binoculars to see it, and it just kept coming closer and closer, and the, the evacuations just kept becoming further and further. On Sunday morning, with only a few items, they evacuated the house he says he watched his children take their first steps in. Taylor says this probably won't all seem real until he can walk down these stairs and see what's left. He says this house was filled with a lot of special things. For example, his floors were brought over by covered wagons in the 1800s, but in the end, he says everything here is replaceable. More than 1,600 personnel are now working to keep this from happening to as many people as possible. Crews were able to aggressively attack the fire in the south Thursday, where containment lines are now in place. Taylor says while he may have lost his house, he has his family and his memories, and that's enough. I have to remember, my house is not a person. It doesn't have feelings. It was wood and nails, and we can rebuild. While progress is being made, every evacuation order does still remain in place. The sheriff's office says that it is working to lift them when it's safe to do so. In Toll House, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News, that matters.